So on this question, we're asked to determine uh, how much heat is transferred between the two objects when they collide. Uh, important thing to note is that the masses are equal. Um, so that will allow us to make certain assumptions. And then the second question is, in which direction does the heat move? Does it go to substance one or does it go to substance two? Um, so if you look at the first part, uh, we got substance one or particle from substance one heading towards the boundary. Here's our boundary. Okay, it is moving with a velocity of v perpendicular. Uh, and then we have substance particle from substance two going towards uh, the boundary, traveling at a speed of two v perpendicular. Now, one thing to remember is that the masses are equal, and that's very important, especially if this is an elastic collision, which it actually tells us. Um, that's because we can make the assumption that if the masses are equal, then these two velocities after the collision will just flip flop. So this is our before picture. Okay. Now, if we look at the after side, oops, sorry, there's our boundary. After the collision, the particle from substance one is going to be traveling in the opposite direction at two v perpendicular, and then the particle from substance two is going to be moving in the opposite direction at v perpendicular. Again, uh, making the assumption or the assumption that the velocities will just flip flop because of the uh, equal masses and then this being an, an elastic collision, right? If that's something else, then we can't make that assumption. Now, what we want to do is we want to analyze the kinetic energies. So if we look at the first one um, on the before side, right? So the kinetic energy of substance one, we just do our one half mv squared, which means the, the kinetic energy before is just simply one half m v perpendicular squared. So then if we do it for substance two, again, we're just going to do one half mv squared. But what happens is now we have a two v perpendicular. And we're going to square that. And so that tells us that this is going to be four over two m v perpendicular squared. Uh, we're going to leave this as uh, 4 over 2 because then it's going to help us with some other things later. Okay, so now if we look at the after side, if we do the same thing, note that K1, right, after, right, we will be over 4 and after. Right, so after, it now has the 2 perpen V perpendicular speed. And you find that K1 after is that four halves uh, MV perpendicular squared. And now we have the befores. Right? And now this just has the MV perpendicular part to it. Um, so what we notice is that uh, is that substance one gains, so substance one gains velocity, which means it, sorry, it gains velocity, which means it also gains heat, right? And then substance two, loses velocity, which means that substance two also loses heat. Okay, so in which direction does the heat move? So the heat is gonna go to substance one. So that would be the answer to the second part. Now, how much heat was actually transferred if we go back and look at how much heat each one really got. And so if we look at the change in kinetic energy, which is also the change in heat, okay? And then, so if we do the after, minus the before, 
we find that we get three halves mv perpendicular squared, and that right there is your answer. So I went a little overboard with the highlighting, so it'd be a little bit thicker. I can make it thicker. So that is our answer. You can do the same thing by looking at uh, something two and note that it will lose heat because when we do that subtraction, we're going to have one half mv squared minus four halves mv perpendicular squared, which ends up being negative three halves mv perpendicular squared. Same magnitude, just different sign. So that is the answer uh, to, to the first part of the question. You see there's a three halves mv squared again. Um, and again, the second answer, or the answer to the second question would be that the heat is going to move uh, from substance two to substance one because prior to the collision, substance two was moving faster, which signifies that it has a higher temperature. 